Good day everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, back in the command chair on the ZX Spectrum 48K, and we're looking at a platformer of sorts called Panama Joe, it was also known as Montezuma's Revenge, uh, published by Parker Software and Sinclair Research in 1984. So it's a bit of a platformer. You must guide this guy called Panama Joe through a pyramid to Montezuma's treasure room, and I suppose um, loot it of everything. So um, yes, we're a bit of a thief. So here we go. The game does feel quite basic, and it's quite quiet throughout. Um, yes, I don't know if it's programmed in basic, but I do like that fire down the bottom there. So hasn't got music like Manic Minor or Jet Set Willy or Turmoil or any of those ones. So um, yes, 1984, it did come out at a similar time to Manic Minor, so I think Manic Minor might have blown it away. But let's just see what it's like from a, a retro spec uh, position. Right, a bit of jump in there. So it looks like there's two colours in the main character, which is good to see, half yellow and half white. So we need to pick up these keys. There we go, we see the objects collected in the top left, and that'll enable us to open any of those white doors we can see on the top left or top right. We've got options uh, to go either way. So yes, uh, it's an exploration game, and it's, 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 it's nice enough, I suppose. There's better examples out there, but it's plain sort of okay. I wouldn't have been dis disappointed as a kid. Lots of brickwork about, and I've timed that wrong and bumped into a snake. But as soon as you die, the thing you bumped into does seem to disappear. Do -do 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 -do. We got a red key. Now, if you had this one back in the day, let me know. I think if you fall too much of a distance, you will die. Don't think I'll need a poke on this one, so I think we'd be able to explore a percentage of the, um, the, the map uh, without any due problem. So it's nice and gentle this, nice relaxing from a retrospect point of view, but if I had it back in the day as a kid, I don't know I'd have played it a great deal, but it's not to say it isn't a bad example of a bit of programming there. But yeah, not not a stellar game. So you if you might have known it as Panama Joe or Montezuma's Revenge, but uh, this version I'm playing was bundled as Panama Joe. Good stuff, right. So I think it might have come out on the Atari 2600 as well, but as Montezuma's uh, Revenge, Right, now you do get an extra life every 10,000. I'm already on 3,400, that ledge is gonna disappear, and I haven't, oh dear, what happened there? And I, oh, I do like that, I got turned into smoke. So you need to be a bit precise. Uh, you might have noticed before I jump on this rope and go all the way down, Wee boom. If you've completed this one back in the day, let me know. You might not have heard of it, but it's, it's, from, a, it's from a good Spectrum era, 1984. Panama Joe, there we go. I like discovering, oh dear, that's that's, uh, that's much more difficult than it looks, obviously. I do like discovering these new sort of like games, well, new old games, if you know what I mean. If you're new to the channel, we have reviewed quite a lot of Spectrum games now, so check it out on the Spectrum Games review list. You'll be there for quite some time, I think. Lots and lots and lots of games, some you heard of, some you haven't heard of. Good games, bad games, and, well, absolute stinkers, really. Do, 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 do. Now this object we've got to jump over here is a rolling skull. I think if we jump perfectly and land on it, it will kill the thing and not kill us, but we won't worry about that. You see just below me at the moment there's a blue door. We haven't got a blue key at the moment, so we can't unlock that. We can unlock a red uh, key if we actually find that. Right, and there's a sword there, so I think that might enable us to kill something with a sword. But um, anyway, we'll carry on regardless. There's a blue door, so if we wanted to, or blue key, if we wanted to, we could go back and um, unlock that blue door. But we'll continue in this direction, because I can't resist a big long ladder. Don't bump into that chain, Nick. Boo 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 boo. It's done it. Boo 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 boo. And down we go. There's part of this really, although I never programmed any games, there's part of me thinking, I weren't too far off trying to be able to program something like this in, and that's why I like it. Can we, no, we can't get through that wall. It's a brick wall. That rolling skeleton head is not going to cause us any more troubles. So, um, yeah, so that guy's died, and now his head is a skull, and it's rolling in some random 8-bit game from 1984. That's pretty unlucky, isn't it, really? We seem to have a lot of stuff. We've got a blue key, a red key, a sword for killing stuff, and two lives left. Good stuff. Now, I was going to get a bit in this game where I struggle to get any further, I'm sure, but it was it was nice um, seeing. If you're watching these games live as they go up, it's a Saturday. The other game we review today was a lot more advanced than this from 1996, is Prince of Persia. Yeah, 1996, so quite, quite late, so I think it might be classed as a homebrew, that one, so check that one out as well. But it's good to see good examples of games. Prince of Persia, of course, was pushing the spectrum a lot more than uh, this one, uh, but this one is 48K. Uh, the other one was 128K, and I was playing that on like a Pentagon uh, version. So I think we can drop down these levels. 
Now, I don't know how you do that bit. So that's that's where I would have kept getting stuck as a kid, I think. I would have got to that sort of distance and not know how far to get. So we'll, we'll, have, a, we'll have another go on it. Uh, we'll possibly go in another direction this time as soon as I pick up that white key. So a choice of directions, which is always good for a kid. Um, that'll keep them going. Uh, but as I say, put it up against Jet Set Willy and Jet Set Willy 2. That blasted that away from great style what with the music and the range of aliens. Um, the enemies, I should say, the enemies in this one are pretty weak. And the screen does seem a little bit empty, but um, I quite like it nonetheless from a relaxing uh, retro point of view. But I don't think it would have scored big uh, back in the day. Uh, too basic, but um, looking at it now, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a buzz from it. But back in the day, I would have been disappointed, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. There we go. I don't think um, there's any reason to... Um, track this one well you could track it down if you're into 8-bit gaming it's, it's a, an example of what people are doing so let's go to the left to the left to the right I don't know what this thing is there but anyway the snakes turn blue don't know why there we go so he, he jumps a bit of a distance and now this big long ladder down uh, it might be a game that it um, might be advantageous to have a map but we start with five lives you can see in the top left as I say, an extra life awarded every 10,000 points. Good stuff. So, yeah, you know, I always like reading your comments there. So let me know what you think of the game, what your experiences were of that. Um, if you're enjoying what you're seeing and you haven't already, please consider subscribing because that uh, helps me a lot. And I think it might help with the YouTube algorithm, how much it pushes me up in search as well. If you want to help a bit more, uh, there's memberships there where you can support the channel starting from $1.99 a month and that does help me in terms of revenue to keep the videos going and increase the uh, content. If you want to know a bit about that, um, you can see next to the subscribe button it says join. If you click on that it won't commit you straight away. There will be a video letting you know what you get for that and there's like different tiers. So thank you very much and there's Ko-Fi as well. Good stuff, good stuff. So this is a uh, pre-recorded, of course. Well, will be after I've finished and edited it. Ah, but uh, we do do live streams also, so check those out in the week. It's a choice, chance for everyone to come together and well, interact live, really. Live stream. The clue, the clues in the name. They're, they're, they've been proving good fun so far. Right. So come on, Panama Joe. We've got a Luke Montezuma, which I presume. Well, Montezuma, is it supposed to be an Egyptian? But this, this whole thing looks like English brickwork. So maybe it's one of those ancient English pharaohs. You know, one of those ones we all knew about. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, that's close. Right, so I think we had a, we killed that skull. We even landed on it. I had a sword that I didn't know about. Good, so um, this, this stage looks a little bit tricky with those conveyor belts. You can't be a platformer with... Um, well, they've got to have conveyor belts, haven't they, somewhere? It's the law. You always need conveyor belts with a platformer, especially on the Spectrum. Right, I can't get up there. Looks like there's a green ladder and then a chain there. So you learn as you go through how to do the uh, stages. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a no frills game, isn't it, really? It feels um, it's only about 80% finished. There could be a lot more aliens. Imagine... Um, Imagine that there's a few thing, other things going up and down, going up and down with sort of that Manic Miner type music, and then the game's starting to get a bit, little bit um, stellar. But it's, it's okay, but it hasn't got like the icing on the cake. It's just the bare cake without the rest of the cake. And it's a little bit dry as well. But, um, you know, positives, two colours on the main character. It does move okay. When I first went to define the keys in my practice go earlier on, I selected P as to go um, uh, right. But unfortunately, P is also pause. So I thought the thing was going terribly slow. But uh, it wasn't going terribly slow. It's just I kept pausing it all the time. There we go. You live and you learn. You die and you forget it all. So in the middle, let's just have a little bit of fun. Right, so we can't, couldn't go that way. So we need to go up, up, and away. There's a blue key right at the top, which you might have already spotted. So I think um, the system... I think, uh, what's that? It's a bird coming down. What's happened there? Maybe they're... Oh, no, that's interesting. Is that taking me somewhere? Maybe I've run out of time. It's a strong bird. There's a colour clash. Yeah, I think there must have been a timing issue then there. So you must have some secret time. Or I clicked on saying I shouldn't have done. But I, I died. That's no good. So that, that was quite clever. You got taken away by a bird. Not as big as that bird that steals your girlfriend in Ghost and Goblins. But uh, it's of an of a era. Well, a genre, I should say. Oh, I forgot about that chain. Nick, pay attention. Pay attention, you nincompoop. Right. 
Yeah, it's screaming out for some music. It would have really lifted it. Yeah, but it's it's all a little it's all a little bit quiet. This is all a little bit quiet. So do your do your favourite music if you want. So I I can't do the music all the way through. Right. But uh, I'm sure someone might do a game and put put that on a loop, what I just said. There we go. As long as I get credit, I don't mind. Right, get up there. Can we climb up this thing? Yeah, it's a climbing rope. Walks a bit like Eric Cartman, I suppose. There we go. Right, blue key. Looks like there's a ladder we can go straight up also, rather than going straight down. Hmm. So we're up high in this building, wherever it is. There's two snakes boogieing on to the music that isn't playing. Oh, so that's two. Ooh, yeah, I thought that was a bit close. Two lives left, but two blue keys, so we can go through two blue, blue doors and we can find them. I think I know what direction I'm going to head in. Right, okay, so to the right. So a kid new to this, they would have had quite a lot of gameplay on this, because it's, um, you know, it's quite hard to die straight away. Uh, this one looks interesting. There's a blue door there. I think we've gone around in a big circle now, haven't we? We've seen, we've seen this level before, so it does, it does loop around to a degree. And now we've got that ledge which, um, well, disappears and comes back again, where I had trouble jumping onto the top ledge. Got two lives low, so hopefully I can get up there. Right, so yeah. I mean, um, if you own a real Spectrum, or just emulation, I think it might be worth tracking this down, uh, just for historic purposes. But I won't go out your way or pay big money for it. Um, hopefully, hopefully you see seen this gameplay is maybe a enough. But um, yeah, right. Do -do -do -do. He looks a bit tubby, this guy. Not to the same degree. Well, I suppose getting on to the same degree as uh, Hen House Harry from Chucky Egg, which was a much, much better game. And, uh, well, that's a classic, that game. It come together really well. So, yep, through the blue door. And we didn't get over that magenta thing, but the door remains open. So, yeah, as a kid, it would be nice finding new bits of the map, so that would have uh, kept you going. So, yeah, I think I, in, uh, in hindsight, I think I would have spent a little bit of time on this game, actually. Good stuff, good stuff. It's uh, easier than the Monty Mole games. Uh, there's less things to try and solve than the Dizzy games. So yeah, a bit of colour clash there, but it's okay for the era. That's more than acceptable. A little bit like Chucky Egg, I suppose, as it goes down the ladders with the, the clash also. I don't know what these white things are. I think they might be just extra points. Yeah, they get a thousand points for that. So if we get another 1,100 points, we will get an extra life. Now, it's quite easy to lose lives by mistiming your jumps over the snakes, so we don't want to do that. Um, yeah, it's got a fair distance with the jumps, so you don't have to be pixel perfect. As we pick up a red key, this will take us within 50 points of a new life, I think, or an extra life. Well, that's frustrating. We need an extra 50 points somehow. Oh dear, the Nick's muffed it up. Is that it? That is it. So that was Panama Joe. Hope you liked having a look at that one. It was okay for the era, but um, you know, I wanted a little bit more from it, but it's, it's okay. I quite liked it regardless. So, hope you liked having a look at that one. Uh, that was uh, Panama Joe on the ZX Spectrum 48K, uh, published by Parker Software and Sinclair Research in 1984. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.